Hello everybody and welcome to a tutorial on how to use SND Bot 3.0 for Agility Elf. My name is Roddy from SND Bot team and I'll be taking you through the new bot's basis. Well, first of all, this new bot is a package sniffing bot which allows you to read packages sent by the client and that allows you to know your exact position, the exact item that has dropped and all those things and allowing you to accurately aim monsters, switch skills and a lot of different new stuff which I'll show you while I'm doing this presentation. So let's start with the interface. As you can see the bot is basically divided into three sections. The first section is the setup section where you have all the different skills that you'll be using, your nickname, your string ID, password and all, all those things. And then you have the character list. Uh, this is for reading which characters have appeared around you including the non-playing characters, including mobs and uh, all those things. And then you have the drop list uh, which is the list of the items that have dropped. Now, first of all, uh, this bot allows you to start the client without using the website, uh, which is a great feature since uh, it allows you to start the game a lot faster. Now, a lot of people have asked on how to get the string ID, and what I'm going to do right now is show you that. So, first thing you do is you run uh, your Firefox and you log into Websense website officially. And see, or here I've logged, I've already logged in into my account. And you just click start game. And once the game has started, once you get the initial screen, you can minimize this now. You just click get string ID now. And this is your string ID number, which you will be needing in order to start the game. Now, we can close this. We don't need that anymore. Over here, you can put the character of your, uh, the name of your character, but you don't have to do that for now. And the password is only if you want to use the option to check for disconnect. But what you can do even right now, once you've just gotten your string ID, you can just click on go. And what will happen is that the program itself, the bot itself, will run the client and you can just click start again. So as you can see it's a lot faster and easier for starting the game. And this is completely safe since you don't even have to enter your password to use this option. So there's no you know there's no chance that anybody is gonna scam you or something like that. So now we'll just log into some server. What we have here are my two really pro characters, and I'll be using the elf today. As you can see, the bot already automatically uh, recognized the uh, my character's nickname, and it has already recognized the characters that have appeared over here. As you can see, we have Adrelina over here, and she is right here from 13 sign. So, uh, on this list, what you get is the whole list of the characters you have encountered. And you have, of course, non-playing characters like the uh, Elf Soldier, Elf Lala, actually, my mistake, and all those things. Also, you have your ID right over here and your co coordinates. As you can see, they are perfectly correct, 172, 118, 172, 118. So now, uh, what I'm going to show you is uh, what this bot can do. Now, as far as leveling and using all these things, uh, there's a lot of options over here. As you can see, the first and uh, most important is the away from keyboard skill, which right now I don't have. Because my character is a total knob. Okay, here we go. I'll just put that on to one. You can put those numbers any way you can. Want. I mean, you can change these numbers without any problem. So let's put it on to number one. And of course, since my character is so pro, he doesn't need infinite hero or damage or defense buff. But, anyways, uh, you can click any of these checkboxes and put any of these uh, buffs that you want to use. Uh, this 
program will automatically uh, read if you have a buff so for instance for infinity arrow it will start it exactly once the inferi infinity arrow disappears so uh, it won't be there's no setting up after how long time you, you want you know the but to give the buff or anything else it will automatically read when is that gonna happen then what we have over here is the server setup we're gonna we're gonna skip that now for now because that's the reconnect option and we're gonna go right over here onto the skill range setup now there's an option over here we, we can limit the mouse meaning that the mouse can be limited to just like one square around our character or if we don't limit it it will move all the way around I'll show you how that works in just a bit and also there's uh, an option for using different skills when the monsters are far farther or closer so for instance if you're closer uh, if the monsters are closer than range 2 uh, then you can use the skill number 5 which can be, be the multi shot and if they are uh, farther away than let's say 2 again uh, we can use for instance an eye skill and also there's an option over here that uh, if you just unclick the limit mouse button what you will do is you will aim at the monsters which are in your range but if you click on still aim at mobs what will happen is that you will be aiming towards the people who are farther away so the mouse will be limited it won't go further than the limitation of one for instance or two or three or whatever you want but what will happen is that you will be uh, aiming towards them so you will be shooting in that direction and hopefully hitting some monsters over there but you will uh, not move the mouse away this is a lot more useful for when playing magic gladiator because if the monster is out of range and you click on it the magic gladiator will move away f to go and reach the monster for elf that's not a big problem because elf stays at the same spot so now what else do we have here we got uh, the option of moving back to the spot and as you can see these coordinates move as I move along so uh, whichever spot I choose and I start the bot to work it will remember that spot as my safe like my home spot and in case I move away in order to pick up an item or something like that I will move back to that spot and then there's an option uh, because uh, it's set up like this that in case there are monsters and you move here you will start to attack and you will attack and then you will move back once all the mobs are done but if you're going into I don't know, contour 2 or something like that those ma maps where there's always mo monsters you will never go back to the option uh, so uh, to your spots so there's this option of checking even if there are mobs around you meaning that if he moves he will move back so now uh, that's mainly about it for now what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go into a different server because server 8 is not really the best one to do a demonstration of this because I will probably be murdered over there so let's go I forgot my password Okay, here we go. So, as you can see, I got my coordinates again. I'm just gonna get my buff. And let's go and see how the bot works. So, as you can see, he's already reading the mobs that are appearing on the map. And let's try and find a hotspot in Laurentia. Okay. We won't limit the mouse and we won't be using the range because there's no need for that. And. Okay, so we just put SF11. And here we go. As you can see, he's aiming automatically. Only I really found a horrible spot. Let's find something a little bit more monsters. Okay. 
as you can see the bot automatically aims towards the place where the mob will move and once the, there are no monsters he's just standing waiting for them to appear so these are really the basic things really really simple things I'm just gonna go to the reconnect option and tell you that realm that's your realm since I'm playing in Midgard it's gonna be three server nine is gonna be just fine character this is my second character pass for it and then you got the option over here to check for DC now let's do let's let the bot do this so that's it and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start the bot and I'm gonna make a disconnect so what is going on now is the bot will check for disconnect every 15 seconds and once he sees that the program is not running, that MU is not running, it will automatically uh, reconnect. Well, as you can see, he's just starting the client right now. Clicking on start game. Loading up. I'm sorry if the screen is a little bit small, but I had to put it in 800 by 600 in order to allow for the screen to have enough room for the bot and the window of MU itself. So he puts in the password, selects the character, and of course since I'm level less than 8, uh, less than 6, I don't get this thing remembered. And now, as you can see here, remember the previous uh, the previous coordinates. And what he's trying to do right now is trying to move back to the spot, which is not really useful, because unfortunately uh, you can't move from safe zone, but this problem is no longer a problem after you become level 6, because then the game remembers your last position. So, uh, that's about it for now. I'll do another video on special setups like repairing and pickup. And I'll do another video on how to use this bot for Magic Gladiators. So stay tuned and hope to see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.